Hello there puzzle friends again, we're here today with another video about jigsaw puzzles. Today we're going to talk about the borders. As you can see, I have here some pieces that are uh, from the borders of a jigsaw puzzle. Uh, having that said, as you can probably uh, can see, if you know, this is from a puzzle that is on what we call a grid cut. A grid cut or a ribbon cut. Uh, these puzzles are very usually um, very usual in Europe. Most of the time in Europe you have these puzzles. Um, it's something typical for uh, puzzles like Ravensburger, like Heye, uh, the German brands, or the brands from France or from Russia. This particular one is from made for in Turkey. It's also in ribbon cut. Uh, in these ribbon cuts, uh, you can or grid cut, you can easily find the pieces that are from the border. Uh, if you have a smart cut, which is uh, usually typical in an American brand, like Cobble Hill, like Eurographics, I do believe Eurographics have both cuts, smart cut and uh, grid cut. Uh, then it's somewhat, it can be somewhat difficult to find the borders, to find the edge pieces. Uh, and then we have uh, the shaped puzzles, should I say. These puzzles are not rectangular, they may be circular. I also have done a circular puzzle, there I, it was kind of easy to find the edge pieces. Apart from one, two pieces, all the others were uh, immediately to find. And there are the shaped puzzles, puzzles that are shaped like something specific, uh, like a leaf or like a horse, like an animal or so or so sort. And they also, most of the time, they can be also smart cut or ribbon cut. And this one, the shaped with uh, smart cut, they are quite difficult to find the pieces uh, that are on the border. Uh, and that's it from the border. And then let's go to the important question. Should we, should we start from the border? Is it uh, easier to start from the border? Well, to tell you the truth, most of the puzzles, most of the puzzlers start with a border because it seems that it can be easily, uh, easily, you can find easy the pieces, you can easily make the pieces put together and stuff like this. Uh, but I have already told you if that's the case or not. And uh, it's also a psychological theme. Uh, we have a, a rant, so to say, we have the borders, we have the um, uh, frame on which we can work inside. Also, we know where our borders are. We know that from there uh, outwards it's not to puzzle or something like this. And then, and then the question, is it easier to do it this way? Well, uh, when it comes to finding pieces, I already told you the answer. But when it comes to puzzling, actually puzzling the pieces, uh, in this case, as you see, you, you see many distinct colors, that means you, it will be somewhat easy to make them, but if they are not so distinct, it will not always be the case. Sometimes it's very dark on the edges, or sometimes it's very bright or something like this, or sometimes it's only the sky or something like this. These parts will be somewhat difficult, and there may be parts inside the puzzle that uh, will be easier. And if someone gets easily frustrated or uh, um, has a lot to do, what should I, where should I start or what should I do or what comes next, it may be a good idea to start from some places and dot the border. Um, I would like also to say here that there exist puzzles out there that they don't have a border or they don't have something that you immediately say this is a border and they have the name impossible puzzles. That's not the case, that they're not that impossible, but it's something like a hurdle that you have to work out. Also, it's something that also the competition spills with. 
and uh, there also exist puzzles apart from the smart cuts and so on that it's not uh, recommended to start from the borders and the typical example for that is are the, the new exit puzzles from Ravensburger which uh, by the way I already have an in-depth review you can feel free to check it out uh, why is that? Because they are made in such a way so that the pieces can fit together uh, when it comes to the shape maybe not from the color but through the shape that means you may place a piece in the false in the wrong position and then you will not know it uh, the reason that it's so made it's because it helps them as manufacturer to um, do a lot of puzzles with the riddle to help with the riddles the but if you want to learn details about this you can feel free to check the video I already told you so that was it from uh, me today uh, do you also start with a border or have you ever made a puzzle that you didn't start with a border or do you think it's not such a good idea not to start with a border uh, to tell you the truth, I have started some puzzles without starting the border. That was a, a jigsaw puzzles that were very big. Uh, that means 5,000 pieces. I didn't make the border because I was kind of afraid because the border would be too far away from the stuff that I puzzle. I did put them aside, the pieces, uh, but I did not uh, put them together, at, at least not at first because I was afraid that I may lose some pieces, I may drop them accidentally and stuff like this. Either way, feel free to share your, your opinions in the comments or feel free to share your um, ideas or what you think it's important to say. That's it from me from today. Thanks again for watching. Happy puzzling. Stay safe. And until next time. Goodbye.